If this is your first time on the channel, I shell a lot. One year I would have shelled every day had it not been for Thanksgiving. Now I don't shell to make videos, I make videos while I shell. Some days I find tinies, some days I find a bunch, and well, other days are just meh. But no matter what, I'll have two to five cameras to document the adventure. So without further ado, let's go shelling. Good morning everybody. Good morning. If this is the first time we met, I am Beach Bum and Dad. And this channel is all about sharing life's adventures. Look at today, we are experiencing a little bit of winter shelling in September. We have a north wind and a pretty good low tide. So we are going to be shelling a higher rack line. We have like a mid wash area and then a low rack line right along the beach. The reason I'm saying this is similar to winter shelling, not only is it in the mid 60s, but on the days when we have the northerly winds and a low tide combined, you'll experience a beach like this where you have, oh, I don't know, maybe 20, 25 feet in some spots. You'll have a calm gulf and a really wide beach to shell. So let's go for a walk and see what we can find. Look at all the coquinas. Folks, this is just amazing to be out here this morning. I had to stop right here. I saw a dolphin come up, but I mean, just look at the water. still warm. Look how clear it is. It's gorgeous. Let's see if we can walk over here. There's a ray. Let's see if y'all can see it. See it? Right at the top there. There you go. Wow, they're fast. Look at that. Alright, let's get back to beach walking. Check any Facebook shelling group and you'll see it stated that low tide is the best time to shell. Well, having walked thousands of miles, I always say it depends. In southwest Florida, most definitely. As for the Emerald Coast, well, it depends. Just last night, Crafty Mama had to open up her phone and show me some projects made with coquinas and I said, you know how long? Oh, look at that. Would have been our first one, 50 cents. Oh, look at this one. Look at that scallop. That's gorgeous. So I had told her that looked like thousands of coquinas on that craft, and I said, I don't even know if I could collect that many in a week. And then today I come out, okay, there are quite a few. Grab a condo. Now this isn't the overnight high rack line. So this has probably been here a couple days. There are some shelly spots we'll look through. Look at that coquina. That has some character. That's pretty cool. There are so many pockets, high and low. It's gonna take a lot of work just to crisscross the beach. Usually I'm the type of walker who, okay, I'm gonna pause here, let y'all look. Who's always looking over the, the next hill. Well, let's climb that mountain and see what's on the other side. So when you give me three, four different rack lines, that means I have to go back and forth. That's all right. It is such a beautiful day. Oh, look at this. Oh, uh, look at that. That is beautiful. Let me get a photo and I'll be right back. That one is a beauty. And I have to say, Sandella make you holla. That one is gorgeous.
that sand dollar right there. Unless, here's a scallop, Sunray Venus. There's a kitten's paw and a slipper snail. I'm fixing to grab. Slipper snail, there's a little slipper there. And a kitten's paw. Unless we find Miss Bonnie, that sand dollar made the trip. Crab. Thought I'd check the water and see if maybe there'd be a sand dollar and a riffle. There's a little bit of red in the sand. Let's see if that one's whole. Yep. Grab that scallop. There's a bigger one up ahead. That one appears to be whole. Nice white one. Oh, there's a big scallop up ahead. That one. Okay, let's see. I see a corner. There we go. Another sand dollar. Nope, up ahead. sand dollar and I'm hoping you see this outline here a sun ray Venus look at this this is a regular old crab HOA I haven't seen crab activity like this in months let's go a little higher I see a couple intriguing spots Check here. We'll check here. And the reason I'm coming up here, a lot of the times when you check these higher rack lines, yes, they've been out here for several days, but the sand dollars, they just pop. They are so white. So I like coming up here and looking for sand dollars. Pretty big. Jingle. Oh, the flies are coming out. Oh, and a sandala. Beautiful. So talking about flies. Oh, there's one. Oh, oh, oh. If you haven't ever been here, well, that's a pleasant surprise. An olive. If you haven't ever been on the northern Gulf Coast in September, oh boy, the dog flies. And they can pack a wall up, especially when you get a bunch of them on your ankles. Oh, there's one. Let's go investigate this sandbar. We haven't done this all summer. A few shells out here. Normally, I don't find a lot of shells out there. If you were down south, you know, Sanibel area, and you go out during a negative low tide or just a very low tide and check out those sandbars, yeah, you'll be finding shells. On the northern Gulf Coast, it's a little different. So let's walk a little bit higher up, keeping my head on a swivel. I turned and saw a couple spots for us to investigate. Here's one, doesn't look like much. Here's another. Okay, let's go back down by the water. It's not to say I don't find shells out here. I mean, I find sand dollars, but you know, nothing like you would find down south. The 
see a shadow up here I want to check out. Okay, a broken sand dollar. The birds sure like hanging out here. Oh, and there's a big, a huge speckled crab. I guess wanted to come up and see what we were doing. Right there. Gone. Buried in the sand. Couldn't you just plop down your beach chair and just sit right here and listen? Thank you all for hanging in there. Welcome to what is in the shell bag, Beach Bum and Dad. Had a really nice sand dollar, quite a few Sunray Venus today. Came across a couple rack lines with some driftwood, so I figured I'd bring some of that home. Nice pink scallop. This one's pretty cool. Nice dot on the hinge. Couple jingles. Cockles, pretty standard fare for nice, nice couple mile walk on the Emerald Coast. Again, thank y'all for hanging in there for being here today. Appreciate y'all going on a, a walk today. Stay tuned for the next video, and I'll be seeing y'all back out on the beach. Y'all take care. If you're looking for more tips, tricks, and shelling adventures, click on the Genonia to subscribe. If you need more Shelly Adventures, click on the box for your next video.